Hello guys, today I will show you how to install Dynamic Seed and also how to use Dyson to create a Dynamic Sprite using the latest version that I upload this C3. Um, well, first I have here a, a program, a folder with all the all common things like Pixie, Viewer XM tool. Uh, and SA1, also Azar and Lunar Magic. Then I will start from a clear room. Uh, the first step is download Dynamic Seed. For that, go to my seed, go to the patch section. For now, it is in the my agent patch. And here is, and here you can find Dynamic Seed. Then we download it. Uh, we'll put we will put this on my on my folder here. Then the first step is uh, expand the room to two or more uh, megabytes. I will use Lunar Magic for that. In my case, I will install the uh, SA1, then I will close Lunar Magic and install SA1. First, I must go to the SA1.ASM here, and we must change this, uh, define DSX for to zero. This will deactivate DSX from SA1. Then we install SA1 with ACE, with ASAR. Done. Now I will open the room in Lunar Magic. If you want now, you can expand the room to 6 megabytes or 4 megabytes, or keep it in 2 megabytes. I usually use 4 or 6. Uh, first, I will do a change in Lunar Magic like this. Like this. Uh, and then I will expand the room to 4 megabytes. I recommend to expand the room because the dynamic sprites use a lot of space in the room, then probably you will need more more space than a, a normal hack. Oh, okay. oh, all works fine. Now I will install dynamic seed. Then we open dynamic seed and we open dynamic seed installer.x. You will look this uh, this window. Uh, this software needs uh, .NET, uh, probably for Linux or, or or users of other system will need uh, something like like Mono or or Wine. Well, I will explain how it works. First, here you can select the features of Dynamic Seed that you want to install. All the features that are checked by default do doesn't have any compatibility issue. Now, player palette and player graphics uh, have compatibility issue with some resources like LX5 custom power apps and other resources. Then. I usually recommend just check just the default uh, installation unless you want to use a custom player or you want or you want to optimize the DMA routine of player and and you won't use other resources like that. Uh, then we we press next. We select the ROM path. We select this. Uh, we select the Pixie folder and we select URSAM2. And then we press install. 
then appears this window that basically says that if you use uh, SA1, you must do that, that replacement. Uh, we could, okay. Okay. If you use retry patch, probably we, you will need to install it after install dynamic seed. For that, uh, I recommend always install first dynamic seed and then retry patch. Okay. Now the work, the room should have dynamic seed. All works fine. Now, when we install dynamic seed, it generates a file called variables. These files have all the variables used by dynamic seed, and you can and you can check free RAMs. Now, dynamic seed when it is installed, it installs the the library of dynamic seed on Pixie and URSM. Basically, it generates this uh, folder called macros, and this folder uh, called extra defines. All the content of these files can be used from a URSM code or a sprite from Pixie. On URSM, it is on the folder others. Now, uh, Dynamic Seed is already installed. Now I will show you how to uh, how to do a dynamic sprite using Pixie and Dyson. For that, I will download Dyson on my C3 post. Yeah. <laughs> Here, okay. I will extract this on the on the desktop. Okay. Then uh, first we need uh, a sprite sheet. I have a lot of them here. I will use, for example, a meta slug sprite sheet of fire. Then. I will open Dyson, Dynamic Sprite, and I will load a, a sprite sheet. Then first we put the the size of each frame, the max size. It is 80 for 80. Then we load the palette. Um, I recommend you to select the the nearest palette to the sprite. For example, this sprite is red, then probably it will fit uh, very well with this palette. I will select this. Now we press OK. This progress could be a, lit, a bit slow, especially if the sprite is very, is very big. Uh, Probably with some sprite, it will it won't be possible to rip it. But for uh, for most of sixty four for sixty four sprites or less, should work fine. Then it rips the graphics of the fire. Here have we have all the frames. If you go to the dynamic space. Uh, we can see how the how each frame is built in tiles. Dynamic seeds uh, use the optimal space for VRAM. Then we go to animation, and here we can go uh, do an animation. For example, a basic a basic animation. Um, Example, I will do a ill animation. Really like this. And we can see the, the sprite in the 
animated sprite. But basically, you can edit the animation here. The button less is to remove frames. The button plus is to add frames. And this button is to change the position of two frames. The time is to put uh, more, more time to each frame. For example, if I put this uh, 16 here, then the, that frame will reproduce for more time. Uh, then we can do an, uh, an interaction, for example, uh, I can do a hitbox like this. Here you, we can select the size, cell size. And the zoom. I always use 8, eight uh, for 8 zoom. And now we can have two options here. So for example, if I put don't share animation, don't share interaction, then all frames will have different uh, hitbox. If we put share with all frames, then all, all frames will have hitbox. What we can do to build the hitbox uh, faster? Well, we can put share with all frames and then put uh, change again to don't share interaction. Then now all frames will have the same hitbox and we can modify and it will be one hitbox per frame. It is a little trick that you can do with this part of the tool. Uh, then we can extract the resource. For that, we go to File, then Extract to. Uh, I will do this. I recommend to select all of these. Only this spread doesn't require flip. This is for horizontal flip, and this is for vertical flip. If you check it, then it will create frame for flip it in X and Y axis. This is for X axis and this is for Y axis. Okay, the resources were installed, were extracted. Then we go to the, we go to the folder. Here, test fire. And now we have a oh shit, that's cool. okay. This sprite uh, will have a it will generate this. Uh, this sprite, it will look like this. If you look, it is optimal sorted. Uh, it uses all the uh, eight for eight tiles and 16 for 16 tiles. And it generates the code here. Now, in that in this case, this sprite use more than one bank. How do you know that? Because it used uh, 56 kilobytes of memory, then you will need to do some changes to use it. I will try with a smaller sprite uh, to, to show it, for example. Uh, if you have a doubt how to do uh, that sprite, for example, that have 76 uh, kilobytes of GFX. You need, please contact me. But now I will do a, a, sprite, a small sprite to do uh, this video. Then I will select the, I think that metal slug grenades. This. Here's the sprite. Uh, I will use this palette one, and here is the sprite. Now the sprite was ripped. We can see it here. I will do a basic animation. You can select multiple frames pressing Control. And 
we have the, that animation. I will, I will do it in that, like that. Uh, you can do a better animation later, but for now we will try with that. Uh, try to use names without a space in between. Okay, we have here. Now we have the GFX and the test grenade. I will copy this on the on the pixie sprites here, and this I will move it to this folder here called Dynamics Resources. This folder is generated by Dynamics Installer.x. You put it here, and now you you must open your your sprite file this and you must change this for the name of your gfx in my case in my case test dot test grenade dot bean the sprite is already done then i will insert the gfx using dynamic resource other or dear other uh, for that, we open resource list here, and I will I will put the name of the sprite here, and then I will use uh, resource other dot x. The first step is put pixie folder. I drag and drop it, then the the test.smc and done it is installed uh, the next step is insert the sprite with pixie then we open pixie we must do a list And I will do a, a dot JSON to uh, dot JSON to insert the sprite with Pixie. For that, I open CFG editor. Uh, you can configure it all of it like you want. The important thing is here put custom, here put fifty six, and here put one and one. This is used by Dynamic C uh, for. In Usually, the first three bytes are for internal use of dynamic seed, and the last three bytes and the last three bytes are used for palette because you can also load the palette of the dynamic sprite using dynamic seed. Then I create this CFG. And done. Now I will install the sprite on on the with Pixie. Okay, that sent me those errors. That is because we need the Dyson defines. To get the Dyson defines, we go to the thread and I put them here. Uh, here we open this and we will put this file we will put this file on the folder pixie asm extra defines then we have all the the defines these defines are used for pixie for a lot of things uh, they are used for Dyson. Uh, okay, now we install the, the sprite with dynamic seed. And it's done. Now we insert it with Lunar Magic on the level. For 
for example, here. A1 loads the palette, it is just to show that the spray works. And now the sprite is inserted on the room and it is working. We show it again. If we see the mirror, we will see the sprite uh, it will be loaded in that place. Uh, Dynamic Seed have a system of auto defragmentation. That means that the sprite always will try to compact all the space in the uh, In that, uh, doing that, Dynamic Seed uh, will also try to have the more space possible to insert more Dynamic Sprites on that space. Then it will compact the sprite, the dynamic space used for a sprite to use the less number possible. And well, it is all. Here we have the sprite. Uh, but it all works fine. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.